And a good day, all of you. Jean Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you, another Beverage Ramble edition. Beautiful day outside here today, and today I am looking at Rewired uh, IPA from the Rare Hair Brewing Company, based here in Marietta, Georgia. 6% ABV. Also, they have a brewery in not Charlotte, but Shallot. Shallot. S H A L L O. TTE. Hmm. Interesting. Shallots, you know, shallot, shallots, right? So, hmm. Anyway, uh, gets an 86 score on Beer Advocate and uh, gets a 3.69 score on uh, Untap. So, yeah, beautiful day here today. So, I figured let me go outside and do an IPA, do a, a beer review. Now, this is what the beer looks like. I, this is my now sixth beer I've done from the Red Hair Brewing Company. I did their Gangway IPA. I did their um, Indian Pale Rattler, which was a SPF, they call it 50 50. Um, I did their Cottontail Pale Ale and um, Gangway IPA. And uh, what else? And then their Gem City uh, Lager, well, light lager it was. So classic craft light lager but anyway so i saw this at uh qt which is quick trip or quite uh yeah quick trip the service station which is pretty much seen basically everywhere here not only in georgia but in south carolina and parts of north carolina as well maybe north carolina but it's a very popular service station go in get everything you want food dogs you know like your everyday service station you know so So this is an American Standard IPA style. I don't know if this is replacing the other, uh, if this replaced the Gangway IPA. I don't know. I haven't looked at the website yet, but. Smells quite fragrant. Has a very, very interesting flavor and scent that I like. Quite good, so. All right, let's. Beautiful day. You know, standard flavor. There's the citrus there. There's the grapefruit flavor. There's that sort of really nice, su subtle malt to this IPA, but definitely the, the hops. Which type of hops are they using? Are they using the ones that we're most familiar with, the mosaic or probably? Syrah's hops. It looks kind of very robotic, you know, kind of look at it, you know, well, that's kind of what it is, rewired. Kind of a really nice little theme, as you can see, the wires and the computer gadgets and all the chips and pieces like that, so. Yeah, I'm guessing Cascade and Chinook hops in this. You know, it's flavorful and, you know, quite good. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, a bit IPA'd out because, you know, that is pretty much what we're seeing a lot of nowadays. Well, for the last 10 years now, 15 years, even more. These there's different IPAs, you know, from now the last three years now, the popularity of these New England style IPAs have really popped up out of nowhere, so... I mean, look, they're all good in their own unique way. Um, but then again, every IPA tastes like every IPA. So this this IPA from this tastes like maybe Goose Island IPA. Or this IPA tastes like Harpin, Harpoon, Harpin IPA. You know, this IPA tastes just like the Lagunitas. So, you know, it tastes like this, you know, it tastes. Of course, the ones I mentioned are the ones I tend to get, you know. Or Sierra Nevada, you know, whatever, so. Um, look, I know I, I can feel, I understand your feeling, and now IPAs are becoming a lot more sessionable where you compare with any food, any 
anything from a burger, spaghetti, chicken wings, seafood, you know. And, but, you know, they have their place. Uh, I'm not tired of it. Um, I like more the Imperial, more the dry hop IPA, so I'll definitely see myself savoring, you know, dabbling in that more than these, you know. 6.2% is a reasonable ABV. You're not. Not really hurting, but you know. But you know, they have their place. So. Um, as I said, uh, as I mentioned, red hair. Uh, many brewers here in the state of Georgia that I am really willing to explore and go to again I mentioned two that I've, I've I've been to already slow pour in Lawrenceville Georgia and in social Fox which is up here in, in Norcross not far from me here and um, sometime this week and I will make it this week or this weekend or the coming weekend I will be at the uh, Sweetwater uh, tour now that things are now somewhat now back to normal since the pandemic and you know <laughs> Going to tours, going doing different things here and there. So, um, see what their what their facility is. But yeah, Sweetwater from that to tru uh, Trucker Brewing to um, you know, what's the mission? Um, Gate City. Uh, there's another one called uh, Idol, which is an Alpharetta, another brewery. A lot of great breweries here. A lot of great spots. Wild Leap. A lot of great breweries here in the state that I'm really going to try to these tap houses, brew houses, go and sample what's there and just kind of get the feel and the vibe. And you know, they always say wine is always a good conversation. Start start a good conversation. So too is beer. Um, I'm more beer drinker than wine drinker. So, and you know, food pairings can go on to debate. You know, food pairings. You know, rather have wine parent wine or, or beer. You know, Red wine more than anything than beer. I like more red wine than white wines. So, in any event, not going to go on. Um, look, it. I don't know. Maybe this is replacing the Gangway right here, Gangway IPA. Maybe it's the same. It's the same ABV. When I reviewed it the last time, I don't know. If that was like many years ago. Um, maybe this is the same beer. Who knows? But maybe not. Maybe it's just something else. But again, it's your standard, typical American IPA. Nothing really fancier or anything interesting about it. But this is really good. I'm gonna go to same same score. Um, eight 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 point six seven. Eight point eight. I'll go eight point seven on this one. B plus. You know, nothing really fascinating about it. It's good. It's very flavorful. Six point two percent is not gonna put you on. You know, I would say maybe drink three of these maybe not in this size but maybe in a 12 ounce can if they do have it i think they do again i bought this only at the uh, service station so you know so i'll try it but yeah uh so yeah so i'm gonna go 8.7 for the rewired 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 ipa by red hair brewing company really good um again the few foods i mentioned to compare it with um uh, anything Italian with a lot of red sauce or spice or maybe some, you know, chicken nachos. I don't know. I think that would be a good pairing. So there you go. So 8.7 for the Red Hair Rewired IPA. Very good. Check it out. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Rewired. I am a robot. I have been... Program to destroy you. Yes.